Today is the 9th of November, uh, 2016. We are at the New York State Military Museum in Saratoga Springs, New York. Uh, my name is Wayne Clark. I'm the interviewer. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? Clement A. Heitzman. And where were, were you born? Born in Kingston, New York. Mm -hmm. Benedictine Hospital in Kingston, New York. Okay. Uh, born on, on March 5th, 1923. Okay. Now, did you uh, attend school in Kingston? Okay. Grammar School, St. Peter's Grammar School, uh, Kingston High School. Mm -hmm. And in my senior year, is, is during, during the, in 1943, uh, is when I uh, joined, uh, uh, volunteered to go in the, the Army. Okay. And why did you pick the Army? Uh, well, my, my brothers were in, they had been drafted, mm -hmm. they were in, and when I told my mother and father that I, I, I was going to go, the, my, the only thing my father mentioned to me was try to ask for something that you're, uh, instead of going into the, as a soldier, go in as, as something that where you'll, you'll get some education out of it. Mm -hmm. Learn a skill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you went into the service, uh, it looks like, in uh, February 7th of 43? Yeah, in Fort Dix, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, Now, was that your first time away from home, basically? Uh, I don't remember. What I, what I might have gone to, to New York or something like that. Okay. Now, where did you enter the service? Did you enter it out of Kingston? Out of, I went to the post office in Kingston. Okay. And from there, we were transferred, uh, I think one other fellow and myself, I don't remember what his name is, went to Poughkeepsie. Okay. And then from there, they, they put us on a train to New York, and then, and then from there to Fort Dix. Okay. And what was basic training like for you? Well, most of it is, was just getting uh, accustomed to uh, army life as far as getting getting your uniform and, and shots and mm -hmm. everything. I remember the, the, one of the things that they did uh, standing in line with, with naked and going through getting shots and uh -huh. everything. And, 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 then, and then from there you, you got some of your your uh, uniforms. Okay. Now, I imagine basic training was pretty cold in February, wasn't it? Yes, yes. I, I don't remember any, any uh, Fort Dix, I don't remember any, uh, any real cold weather. Mm -hmm. it, it probably too busy getting accustomed to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But then they put us on a, uh, they put us on a train, and from on a train we went to Miami Beach. Wow. Oh. And Miami Beach had been taken over by the military, uh -huh. and all the hotels, which are some of the real big ones, they put us right in the hotels, mm -hmm. and that's where our our quarters were in hotels. So you had uh, you had the uh, Army Air Force basic type training there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And what was that training like? Well, not much different than, than any other soldiers that would have gone in. Mm -hmm. We had, we did, did a lot of marching, mm -hmm. uh, marching and drilling and stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember going any, doing any uh, firing, mm -hmm. shooting okay. there. But then from, from there, we got transferred to Jackson, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Jackson, now Mississippi. that was after like eight weeks of basic? Several weeks, it, it, okay. yeah, several weeks in, 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 in training. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Jacksonville, uh, Mississippi, and that's where I, I got to use uh, fire, went to the firing range, some of the things we, we learned to use, and one of the things I got, I got to trained a little bit on, on the small tanks. I'd never been in a tank before, but they, mm -hmm. I learned how to drive a tank, but that's as far as it gets. I was able to steer it. 
Was that one of the old Stewart tanks, the little? Small one, it was very small. Okay. Yeah. But you still had, you still had controls mm -hmm. your, with your feet and in your hands to, to steer it and okay. with brakes and stuff like that. Now what, what kind of weapons did you train on? We, the main thing was, was a, the carbine. Okay, the M1 carbine. The M1 carbine. And that, okay. was, that would have been my piece of equipment I had through most of my military training. It was the carbine. Okay. Now, is that where you got your training on uh, engines also? It, no. From there, they sent us to Gainesville, Florida. Mm -hmm. and, and outside of Gainesville, there was a CC, CC camp. And the Army had taken it over. And we just lived in barracks. In the CC camp, mm -hmm. and that's where one of, one of the things, one of the uh, buildings was just uh, engines that that it looks like they'd been in uh, six by six trucks that okay. might have been maybe going to get shipped overseas, and, and maybe that ship or whatever was sunk because it was full of salt water, mm -hmm. and our job was to take them apart, clean them. Put them back together and get them running. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the one of the gimmicks we had after we had them running was uh, each one of the guys would see how long they could hang on to the end of a spark plug oh, while, while, while it was running. While it was running, and, and see how many you could hold on to before you had to let go. So, uh, how how long were you able to do it for? <laughs> not too long. Not too long. I don't know what I got one or two. What I was able to hold before uh. I had a Oh boy! Anybody. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've done that by accident. Yeah, you can get quite a jolt from it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how long did that school last? We were in there. We got him in the, at least. I don't think I can remember. It's probably a good six months. Oh, six months. Okay. Good six months before we. Yeah. Now you trained on a number of different size engines, from vehicles to. The small. No, uh, most right there in Gainesville, Georgia, was is usually the the six by six trucks. Okay. Not the not the truck or and just the engine itself. Mm -hmm. That's all we had was the engine. We did okay. the rest of the truck. We we, we did we didn't work on that. Okay. Now were those a flathead engine or the overhead valve? Uh, overhead valve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now. Um, on your, on your weekends, did you get any time off, or could yeah, you go we into were town? able to get into into uh, uh, Gainesville, the mm -hmm. city, and 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 because there was a little church there, we could get to get to go to church on on a weekend. How did they treat GIs there in town? All right, they were not, they were nice, especially the the priest we had there was I don't remember what his name was, mm -hmm. a small a small church, but. Uh, he was he was nice. It was, it was good to see us, and, and even some of the people that uh, uh, we met in, in, in the course of traveling back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, after your training there, where did you go next? From there is is, is when we we uh, back on the train, and mm -hmm. from there we went to Riverside, California. Oh. And. That's where, uh, before we got on board ship. Mm -hmm. Now, did you did you get a leave to go home? I tried to. They each every time I come up, even around Christmas time, mm -hmm. I didn't get off from Gainesville at all. Oh. I thought I, I, I came for, for sure because one thing I remember, you know, I was on a train and might have been to come home just for one or two days. And I, I don't know if I mentioned it in, in here in the, in the book or not, I don't know. But <clears throat> I remember being on the train, either going home or coming back, that I, I got on the train and there was uh, looking for a seat. The only thing I saw was with a color fellow. So mm -hmm. not knowing, I just sat next to him. Uh -huh. There's another family that either sat behind me or up. They come up. And told me, hey, come come with us. So they asked me, had me sit with them. It didn't it didn't ring a bell at the time. Mm -hmm. it, 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 but hmm. So it was segregated. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was still we still had that going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Gainesville, Georgia. The only thing I remember about Gainesville, 
and when it was in, and before we left, I borrowed a camera from one of the buddies that was, he was going to the same place I was going. And evidently, I must have took some pictures from on the train going to, before we went to uh, Riverside, California. Mm -hmm. All our, our baggage was set outside between the, between the barracks. When I got on board ship, looking for it, the camera was gone. Uh -huh. So I lost, I lost the camera and I had, to, I had to buy him, give him money to put a new camera. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> what was the ship like? It was, a, uh, it was a converted <coughs> passenger liner. USS George Washington, mm -hmm. pretty good sized ship, and our bunks were uh, four just canvas mm -hmm. stretchers, you might say, yep. four high, and my bunk was the second one up off the floor, and how high up, it might have been near a porthole, because I, could, I think we could probably see. Mm -hmm. and. It took us 40, 42 days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to go from Riverside, California, south, past the equator, mm -hmm. around and come up into Tasmania, below Australia. Uh huh. And that's the only, that's the first time we were able to get off ship. And the first day they wouldn't allow us off, but some of the, the officers or, or some of the crew were able to go out. We could watch them going and walking into town, and inside of an hour or so, see them coming back, and they've been they've been hit because of the, evidently the beer they were the only beer they could get was warm beer. They didn't have cold beer, mm -hmm. and it hit them it hit them a lot harder. So, huh. but when when they let us off, they they took us off in a group, and we stayed had to stay mm -hmm. in March. Hmm. From there, we went uh, back below Tasmania, up into Bombay. Okay. We landed in Bombay, and that's where we got that's where we got disembarked in Bombay. Okay. Now, did you get seasick at all on that voyage? Not, not going to go no, no. Now, what was the food like on, on board ship? It, you got it. Not, I don't remember any, anything specific. Mm -hmm. The only thing I do remember is the fact you were standing. You didn't. You couldn't sit down on board ship. It was. It was stand up. You stand at the table and ate your meal standing up. Uh. You, because they didn't have the room. There were so many people, and mm -hmm. going back and forth. That, that, and I guess the officers and some of them probably someplace else. Yeah. Hmm. So you landed in Bombay. I landed in Bombay. What was that like? It was it was a small town. It, it, we, we didn't get to, to go around in, in town at all. Mm -hmm. Not not then anyway. Yeah. And, it, and we went to uh, a by train. And well, the only thing I do remember is this is a little bit odd. odd. The barracks we were in were standard. But in order to go to the bathroom, you had to go to a building that was upstairs, and it was holes in the seat and the buckets down on the ground, and that's what you, that's oh. you did your business down on the ground. And you had local people would come and clean it and clean oh. it up. So you didn't have flush toilets. No, no flush, no flush <laughs> toilet, no flush toilet. Okay. Uh, then we're back on the train, and from there. It was from there to, to, to uh, Calcutta. Mm -hmm. From Calcutta, we went uh, 20, I think it was east, about 20 miles to our permanent station, which is, is uh, Bengal, Bengal Air Depot. And the building we, the building we were in was uh, uh, pretty good size. You could, you could drive vehicles inside it. Mm -hmm. And all all the equipment that we had, any any repairs or stuff, were all in that one building. Okay. I was assigned to a, a, a sergeant, and him and I would would work on the on the smaller engines. Mm -hmm. 
his his expertise was motorcycles. Oh. And part of part of his training, he got me to to be able to drive a motorcycle. Oh. Just was it a Harley or Indian? It was a Harley. It uh -huh. was a Harley. But with a sidecar. He sat in a sidecar and taught me how to drive. And then we went out a little bit. That's I didn't I didn't get to drive it much. Mm -hmm. Now, did you work on motorcycle engines at all? Not that I remember. I think uh -huh. I, I might have, but I don't remember how much I did work okay. on that motorcycle. Okay. After I got home, I bought myself a Harley. Uh -huh. And that, that, I took it apart, put it back together again. Mm -hmm. But once I, once I started going with, with my, my wife, she said, Either I go or that goes. One or one. So, so I had to get rid of the Harley. Now let, let, let me just ask you, what kind of Harley was it? It, it was. It was a, the only thing I remember it was a uh, 45. Oh, 45 yeah. cubic inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, flathead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we go from there. Now, um, were you kept busy in that shop working on engines? Pretty much. Pretty much. Fairly busy. Okay. Twice I got to go on assignment, mm -hmm. and the first assignment they they were looking for volunteers to guard uh, some uh, army vehicles that were transferred from from Calcutta up to Assam, mm -hmm. and they were they were these six by six trucks with uh, inside it it was a complete. Uh, Oh, had everything okay. in it had everything yep. in it. The tool. We had, I think, we had three or four of them. And the other guy and I were given, we were given a little, like a, uh, go to the last train and caboose, like a caboose, a little mm -hmm. bin, building with two flat platforms in the front and the back, mm -hmm. uh, and a, and a, and a, I guess a 50-gallon can of water, and there are sea rations. So. We, how long we were on that train, I don't remember, but every once in a while, it wouldn't go very fast, mm -hmm. and it would stop overnight, and, then, and I know the one time, one time we, we stopped during the night, and of course, along the tracks, they had a lot of the uh, things that they had, keep the, t the rails leaving with were, were wooden pegs, but a lot of them were laying around all over the place. So we got, a, I found some bricks, laid some bricks on the back platform, and these, these sticks to make a fire, so we cooked our oh. cooked our sea cake, sea rations. This one night, during the night, the train started to move. I thought the fire was out, but it was just the coals. Yeah. But it, and the train moving, it heated up those bricks. It started to burn a hole in the in the, in the boards that were in, in the, on the train. Oh, <laughs> so, so we had to go. Quick! When I saw the flicker in the sky, and, uh, oh, something's wrong. There, the back platform was, was on fire. On fire. <laughs> so we had to put that out in a hurry. So, oh. hmm. and then the other time, the other time, where was it? We had to go to a different two the assignments I had. Now, did you stay in India for both both assignments? Oh, over over. over uh, Two years, uh, it was over two years. I had, I had, I think I got the amount of days that were exactly. Actually, okay, yeah. so, so you were in India for over, t over two years. So, two, over two years. Did, yeah. did you learn to speak the language? A little bit, uh -huh. a little bit. We did, yeah, I got to learn. You, you had, to, we had, in our barracks, we had, we had, uh, what did we call coolies? That took care of the barracks. Oh, I see. The barracks were were concrete platforms mm -hmm. with with straw straw roof. The straw on the roof was about yeah. that thick. And the only thing I remember having a uh, a pet. I didn't call him a pet because it was a little lizard. <laughs> and and I think I don't know whether his tail had been cut off. I would see him every night or every morning. Going around and he would he would he would go after the, the flies or something. Uh -huh. he, would, so he was he was kind of like a pet uh -huh. that I had. Now did you uh, did you run into anything like malaria there? No, some of the some of the fellas 
and I'm in my group had caught it. Mm -hmm. A couple of them, a couple of them, I know the one guy who must have, I think he must have done too much for him, and he, he passed away. Oh, well, really? We were there in our group, yeah. Well, we were there. We lost yeah. one guy that I know of. From malaria? Well, yeah. In, something like that, yeah. Okay. But, uh, otherwise, uh, the shots and everything they gave us, as far mm -hmm. as I was concerned, I think I, I lucked out very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had, we had some, some uh, uh, had a, had a, uh, uh, Theater where we could get to on weekends or certain nights, and some of the, some of the I think I remember some of the uh, Hollywood people coming over. Oh, you, know, like a USO a show? USO group come okay. over. I think it was I don't know what's it, the, the what is it, the three or not the end is it the Andrew Sisters or okay one, one yeah. of those. But I'm not like like Bob Hope or anything. We I didn't we'd see anything that uh -huh. that big. But, well, the, the Andrews sisters were pretty big back then. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And did you have much uh, interaction with uh, the civilian population? Could you go out on Yeah, we, we were able to go down. We were able to go down to uh, uh, Calcutta mm -hmm. a couple different times. I remember one time, it was the USO. They had a USO there. So we could go down there, and it's the first time I ever, well, they advertised uh, steak. I was going to get us. I'm going to get a steak down to the USO. Mm -hmm. It was a Salisbury steak. Oh. It turned out to be a Salisbury steak. It was just a oh, uh, like a hamburger a, steak. Hamburger or... chop, chop, so that's mm -hmm. what they called the Salisbury steak. Uh. <laughs> but other times there was other things that we could we could do there. We could. Uh, I think we met. We went one family that that they. they it was some kind of a parade in Mexico. They they invited us to come to their house and watch the parade from I think it was up the first or second floor out of, out of a window to watch a parade. What kind of a parade? I don't remember, but it was a lot of Mexican, uh, not Mexican, but Indian, Indian, mm -hmm. Indian people. Okay. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> what about? Uh, now, you said you weren't in any kind of combat at all. Did, no. did you ever see any Japanese planes fly over? Once. Once? Once. We got, we got told, we got told, because we, outside of our barracks we had, we had slit trenches. Mm -hmm. And they, they notified us that they, there's something coming. So we, we got out into the slit trench. The only thing we found out, whether I saw it or not, I don't remember. But the information we got back was the fact that one plane went over, Mm -hmm. It went down into to Calcutta, dropped the bomb, but the bomb landed in the water. And, and outside of that, okay. so going home, well, we got on the board ship in Calcutta to come home. In the harbor, we did see ships that had been, it might have been damaged and mm -hmm. sunk. Now, ships. When, when you left to, to come back home, was the war over at that point? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What was it? Uh, do you recall your reaction when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? I don't remember exactly what okay. happened. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about uh, the war in Europe ended before? Before, before ours was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we were over there when we got the word that, that war was over and we were going to get to a home. We couldn't. I couldn't anyway at the time. Maybe some of the other guys were saying we didn't have enough points. Oh, I see. Yeah. We needed the points to get a chance to get. Okay, you're on the list to go home. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, you heard about the dropping of the atomic bombs. Was was that pretty hard to conceive that that one bomb could take out an entire city? At the time, it did. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so. You left when you uh, had enough points to leave. You uh, you came back in for was it forty six? Well, I think it was forty six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you were discharged uh, January tenth of forty six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So so you missed another Christmas. Uh, yeah. Christmas. That Christmas was on we, when we left Calcutta. Well, maybe before I get to one, one one more thing that I. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the on 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 the board on ship going over. There was 
I, I didn't recognize him at first, but it turns out that we, the second assignment I had was to go up to uh, Karakpur, I think it was. It was another 50 miles to uh, make the, the air, air, air strips bigger. Mm -hmm. the air strips at the time we were going to, the B-17s were going to be coming over. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the air strips weren't big enough. So our job was to, to uh, make those air strips bigger. Mm -hmm. We got the job to drive in trucks, and the locals would load the trucks. It, it was it wasn't a dump truck at the time. It was six by six truck, yeah. but it didn't dump. It was flat. We had we had. A lot of local people would load it what they called uh, laterite. Laterite. It was like a like a. It looked like a, a sponge, but it was it was rock. Okay. And, and they loaded that with these buckets under the, and we would bring it to the airfield, dump them, and then they had rollers that flatten it. And we were up there, had been up there about three months. Mm -hmm. Now, what about? Uh, you know, being out in an environment like that, did you, uh, did you have to worry about snakes or anything? Not that I know of. I don't remember ever seeing a snake. Okay. I've never, I've never seen a snake. And uh, were, you, were you in any kind of barracks out there or were you in yeah, tents? Yeah, the barracks or? we had in, in both places, it was barracks were about, pretty much the same. Okay. Concrete, flat board with, with uh, uh, wooden frame and then, and then mm -hmm. uh, rope, mm -hmm. some kind of blankets too. Now, what about uh, like sanitation facilities? How often did you get, get to take a shower when you were out there? Fairly regular. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't think we were really concerned about uh, enough. That was, that was pretty good. Okay. Even, even, even the, 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 uh, the cafeteria we had mm -hmm. for our meals. The only thing we didn't have was was the, was the eggs. It was all all oh, the powder powdered eggs. Uh -huh. That's all we got. Okay. And I remember having going to going over to going over to, to lunch one time, and, and who would this guy come by? Harold Grenewald. He said one of the guys before we went into service, him and a couple other guys and I went into the National Guard for a while. Oh. And he was in the National Guard, and here he come across. He was going. He was he was in the Seabees, and he came in our outfit for a meal. And I was able yeah. to get to see him from a guy from home. Yeah. That was the first time that I remember. And then while I was there, and that, that one of the things I was able to do was we had, uh, which could get to, get to church on a regular basis. One time, mm -hmm. Cardinal Spellman. Was one of the Cardinals for, back at the time from New York. Mm -hmm. He was on a military tour, and, and myself and another guy were able to serve mass for him oh. at the mass when, at our, our barracks. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I, I mentioned is the fact on the plane on the, on the ship over, there was a lot of guys who were trained as gunners in the new in the new uh, planes. Yeah. And they were driving trucks the same as us. Complain, complain, complain. Huh. Here we are trained as gunners, and we're going to drive a truck. <laughs> so so that kind of got to us. Huh. But, so, and then, hmm. yeah, and then, and then we found out that, that one of the things that, of course, that had happened. That I don't know whether I, I would have recognized it if it, a point to them is, is my my uh, wife's. Uh, Frankie, Mary Elsie, brother. my wife's brother was was uh, he married he married a, a Netherwood. And it turns out uh, their brother was on one of those planes that that uh, ran into a, a mountain coming back. Yeah. They went over. To China to, to bomb, and on the way back, uh, they ran into a mountain of fog or something that got yeah. all killed. They didn't. They didn't find them until it was only eight, eight or ten. Yeah. You know, about about something yeah. like they only found the remains. Yeah. But, 
Hmm. But those, those guys, that's what I remember, those guys, we, we were driving trucks to, to uh, building the, the, air, the, the plane, the air, air, airfield bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, whereabouts were you discharged from? Uh, Camp Kilmer, I think it was, in, in, in New, Jersey, New Jersey. Okay. We got on the boat in Calcutta, mm -hmm. and we left Calcutta down in the Indian Ocean through the Red Sea, through the Suez Canal, into the Mediterranean, out into the Atlantic. You really got the world tour, didn't I, you? <laughs> when that ended up, it was I had gone from my, when, where I started, completely around, completely around the world. So that 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 is something that I uh -huh. kind of feel proud of. Now, when you uh, when you got to uh, Camp Kilmer, you were discharged from there, and then you you went home to went Kingston home. by by train. By train, by train, by hope, yeah. Okay. What kind of what kind of reception did you get when you got home? Well, I, re I recall I was back at that time what they called the West Shore Railroad. I come home and I think I don't know I think I must have walked from the train station to my house, yeah. which was uh, uh, less than a quarter of a mile, but it wasn't that mm -hmm. far. Now, did your parents know that you were coming? Yeah. yeah they yeah, did? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm, I'm sure they were pretty excited pretty to see excited. you. Yeah, yeah. At one time, they, they one of the things that, that it, it kind of, I don't know whether I've talked to my brother John lately, but one of the things that, that at, this, at this school hall, they had different things going on. And I hadn't met him yet since I grew home. Mm -hmm. and, and here, here he come up to me and, and he yelled, hey, Clem, how are you? And I went, who are you? I, I, oh, I didn't recognize, I didn't recognize him, I, my own brother. Now, did they get home before you? Were you the Well, last? he had, this is the one that hadn't gone, he hadn't gone in the service yet. Okay. He was the, young, he was the youngest of the family. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you get home before your other brothers that were in the service? No, I think they were already home. Okay. They were already home because they were, they were they were in a lot longer than I was, and in the sense they they were drafted uh, earlier in in the war before before okay. Pearl Harbor. So, so. Mm -hmm. do you want to hold up uh, that picture? Um, what, yeah, yeah. Bring that close to your chest, and I think I can I can zoom in on it. Uh, that's not much. too bad. No, that's all right. That's not too bad. And uh, do you want to do you want to tell us? Their their names uh, just uh, go down the line from from front 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 to back or let us see very good from left left to right okay yeah is Bill he was he was a chaplain's assistant okay and with Francie who was a, a uh, ambulance driver mm -hmm. Lou who was in in uh, Hickam Field when it got bombed during World War Two mm -hmm. and myself Clem. And then Ed and John, who were, who were in the service after the war, okay, they were in between between the different wars. Okay, and uh, you want to hold up that other uh, this one here? grouping there? Yeah. Okay. Four brothers in the service. Yeah, the four. Okay. All right. Okay, got it. All right. Yep. Now, uh, your parents must have been pretty worried to have have all you guys in the service at the same time, yes, weren't they? Yes, yes. I, I, uh, it, it didn't... Some of the letters I got back and forth from, most of the time was from my mother. Yep. I got one or two from my father, and, and uh, but they, they, they didn't seem to show it. I didn't notice it in the letters that they showed it any any mm -hmm. real concern because you know. But I'm sure they were very they were relieved that you, were. you guys the, made it back. The fact that the fact that my father when when I decided I was going to go, he told me that uh, try to get into something that you're going to get something out of. 
mm -hmm. you know, which I which I was lucky to do to get a, a training, a little more training on, on the mechanical side of the business. Now, now, had your father been in the service too? No. Okay. No, no, no. he was a he was a uh, he was a uh, a law law clerk most of his career. Okay. Yeah. He worked for a he worked for a large uh, law, legal firm lawyer. Mm -hmm. In the city, okay. walk mile and a half, two miles every every day. Go to work. Yeah. Now, uh, did you stay in contact with any people you were in the service with? One, one <coughs> fellow, fellow uh, that we we hear hear from each other every Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then the last time, and I, I think we're talking about three or four years ago, I found out that. One of his brothers told me that he had passed away. Oh. I attempted to go out. I had to get, try to. He lives from uh, Kansas City, Kansas. I think he lived in. Okay. Now, did you uh, join any veterans uh, organizations like the VFW or the Legion? No. The only the only one I I joined, and that was only within the last. Year or so was the American Legion, mm -hmm. but I haven't. The only, the only contact I got is through the mail. And I haven't been, I haven't been to the local American Legion yet. Okay. And, and talk to them or anything like that. So. Okay. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to touch on, or did your family have any stories? That, track, what? The track team. Huh? You ran track. Oh, oh yeah, when I was in, in, in the, yeah, when one of the things we got <clears throat> to do, one of the local uh, guys in, in my outfit started up a track team. Oh. And we, we ran cross country and, and that sort of thing. And we were right around in, in, in India, we, we went to different places, even in, Calcutta, we went down to a, a uh, it was a China, Burma, uh, English uh, meet mm -hmm. in, in, in the, the stadium down in, in Calcutta. And then one time we got, we got invited to go, go to Bombay for another one. Mm -hmm. And I, my, my uh, expertise was, the, was, was either the relay, two mile relay or, or the mile, mm -hmm. I was able to run that fairly good. But when we got to when we got to back to Bombay, uh, somebody else beat me out. So I was able I was able to go there, yeah. but I didn't get, I yeah. didn't participate in any of the any of the beats. Okay. Well, that was still pretty interesting. Yeah. Huh. Anything else? Oh, 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 okay, oh, yeah. King, oh yes, that 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 was <laughs> King King Neptune. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that, when we crossed the equator, yeah. uh, they want, wanted to know who wanted to get initiated into the King Neptune. So I signed up for, and we had to get a baby suit on. And what they did is 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 they had big tubes, or there must have been at least that you could crawl through. Mm -hmm. But there's water running through them. And, and hoses, and then you had to get down on your knees and crawl from through one hole, one tube to the next, and water crawl through water. And when you, and sometimes there was so much water, you had to catch your breath and hold your hold your breath until you get to an opening. Oh as soon as you got to an opening, there was somebody right there with a with a paintbrush with cod liver oil on, and stuck that in your mouth. <laughs> so you got cod, cod liver oil in <laughs> your, your mouth. As you go through, and then when you were through, when you walked up, and then and then King Neptune spanked you on the back, and, yeah. and you were initiated, mm -hmm. and then you were able, and you got this certificate. Yeah. So if you ever went across before, you could do that to anybody else who wanted to get. Mm -hmm. You still have your certificate? I still got it. <laughs> and I think it's, I think it's probably a, a picture of it in a, in. in, in oh, okay. In, 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 in the, the book. In, okay. In the book, in, in copy of it. Okay. And uh, when you got out, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? No, I looked at, looked at the possibility of, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't. Uh, 
No, I didn't get into that. I toyed, toyed about it, but I, no. I, the only thing I, at the time I was concerned about, I wanted to get my own job as a mechanic. Uh -huh. And I ended up, it was by the back, the back of my house uh, on, on where we live, was it, the back of it dropped down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to do was dig down into there and build, build myself a garage. Mm -hmm. I never got to do that. I got to do some digging, but I didn't. I never got around. To it. Okay. I just got myself a job at a, a local uh, fellow that I knew from high school. And, uh, his father owned a truck garage, and him and I worked as a mechanics in, in this truck garage for for several years until until uh, IBM opened up, and uh, my father said. Why don't you go down and try to get in? And it was on November, I think, sometime in November, I went down. Was that IBM in Poughkeepsie? And IBM in Poughkeepsie, yeah. And okay. they, uh, they said, well, uh, we'll check about around the first of the year. Well, I, I went back to where I was as a mechanic, and I mentioned to the, the boss who run it that I, I may be going to work for IBM. And instead of, at the time, I figured, all right, I'll give him two weeks' notice, which is, which is popular. Mm -hmm. but what he ended up doing was telling me, why don't you leave now? Oh, really? So that, that, kind, of, that kind of hurt. Sure. Yeah. But then I had, I had uh, when I did get to work for IBM, I, the only reason it, it helped get me in there, on uh, the application, that's the reason for lo losing, uh, leaving the last job, I put fired. In it. And the guy that was interviewing him, what's this all about? When I, when I told him, he came back here and he said, start Monday. Oh, nice. So, so, so I had 35, 35 years with IBM. Nice. Now, how do you think uh, your time in the service changed or affected your life? Uh, outside of getting to see the world on the board ship. The world. No, no, no. It was, you know, that part of it, it, it for some reason, I didn't seem to think, sink in mm -hmm. until, until later after help, they helped put that together. It, it, uh, I realize it as far as uh, IBM, my IBM career kept me, kept me kind of pretty, pretty busy. I started mm -hmm. out started out running a, running a punch press, just punching out parts for typewriters and, and other, and okay. I worked my way up, worked my way up into, into where they, they had these, these dies that you, you had to put in the, mach, in the machine, you cut, break the parts out. Yep. I, I had, my, one of my jobs was, was to take them out and store them, mm -hmm. and, 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 and then I'd clean them up, and examine them and see which ones needed repair, and write the repair order and get them repaired. And then from there, I got a job uh, inspecting new ones mm -hmm. and then new stuff to come in. And little by little, I worked my way up into, into IBM as, as a, as a uh, uh, what do they call it, a, a, a methods engineer. Yeah. I, I would. With, with the, the engineers would design new pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. My job was to examine the, the, the blueprints, study them, make sure they're all right, and have, have parts made from those blueprints mm -hmm. and then inspect the parts. Yeah. So, so that was, that was my, when I finally uh, left idea with it. Okay. And what year did you retire? Uh, 46. Or 50, 56. 86. June of, June of 56. 86. 8, 80, 86. 86. 86. 86. Okay. Yeah, 35 years. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your interview. Thank you.